Well, hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sandy Alnock and I sound like a cross between a frog and a horse. I am still sick. But today I did get up. I got clothes on, like actual clothes that are not pajamas. I had to go to the store and get more medicine. <laughs> and I figured, okay, I'm going to at least talk to you for a few minutes while my voice holds out. Uh, hopefully my next video will be an actual tutorial. I promised you more trees and I do want to get to that. But for today, I'm going to just tell you what I've been doing while I'm sick. So I have been in my pajamas and doing as much resting as I am capable of for the last week. In between all my naps, and I have taken plenty of naps for those of you who were worried about me, I've been working on putting the Tiny Tutorials class also on the website. And that's a one-time lifetime purchase like a normal class would be. On the app, it's an annual subscription. And they both have mostly the same content. See the link for more description of the difference between the two and whether or not you want to renew the app purchase or jump over to the main website version. So on the main website version, I've also included the Art Venture class. And this one basically helps you to walk through your history as an artist. What made you decide you want to do art way back in the day? And have you lost those dreams that you might have had back then? And then a bunch of steps that you can take to start to recover some of those dreams as an artist that you can fulfill now. Each of the different sections has all kinds of content under it. General creativity um, has inspiration. This section is about old masters, but I also included a bunch of videos that I've done where I was inspired by a specific artist. So it might help you to look at another artist that you admire and figure out ways that you can incorporate something from their art into yours. And then each one of the pages has all these tutorials in it. The tiny tutorials are basically something I developed on social media. They're carousels. And you can either tap on them to make them big like this, so you can see them large on your screen, or you can just tap through it on the page itself and walk through those. But sometimes if your eyes are as old and bad as mine, you might need something that is a little bigger so you can read it more easily. And if there's a video that's paired with that tiny tutorial, I've included it right there with the video, with the tiny tutorial. So a lot of them have a mix and match between video and just that tiny bite sized tutorial. There's all different sections about each medium, about the supplies for them, things you might not have known. Some of them are just funny history stuff. Some of them are specific tutorials about how to do a particular thing, like pumpkin colors. That tiny tutorial lists a whole bunch of colors, and then I show you a video on how to color a pumpkin. Christmas bow. This one was very much tied to a video, how to make all the shading work. And you can walk through that step by step, follow those directions. And you can also see it in video format. So where I can, I pair them with something. It may not be the exact same thing, but something close. The some more video is one that's exclusive. It's not been out on YouTube. So there's some exclusive content in the class as well. And for those who are crafters, there's a couple sections about crafting. And this one in particular, I think is extra fun. The card maker decision wheel. I haven't finished it all yet, but each one of those colors in the under the question marks represents an idea that you can pick from when you're working on a card. And sometimes just having these little bits of inspiration is just enough to say, oh, I haven't tried that thing in a while, or I've never looked up this thing. And then it can send you in a whole different direction with whatever it is that you create. If you're the kind of person who learns well from these short bite-sized tutorials that you can spend time on each slide, understanding them and internalizing the information, tiny tutorials might be right up your alley because there's 150 of these. So that's about it for me. I'm going to go get back into my pajamas and go back to my resting. And yeah, if you're interested in the class, link is in the doobly-doo, which is the description down below the video. 
And I will hopefully see you again on Saturday with I am really crossing my fingers for that tree video that I promised because I really want to get that done. I will see you then. Take care. Bye.